you know, it was a really good football game. Uh, you know, I don't know if either team would say they played great football. Uh, both teams can say that they played hard for 60, well, 60 plus minutes. Uh, I don't remember a ball game uh, with so many changes in momentum or, uh, you know, big plays, bad plays. It just, it just seemed like it, uh, uh, you know, never got a feeling where one team completely took it over and had it, you know. I mean, just it, it went back and forth. And we were, we were very fortunate to win. I mean, I'll give a lot of credit to Northern Michigan. They played, you know, very, very hard and, uh, you know, had chances. I think, uh, you know, there were so many plays, uh, you know, after the game when they, uh, you know, I had just a couple interviews. I, I had a hard time remembering the sequence of some of those plays. You know, I mean, there's, you know, the, you know, the fumbled punt that that, that we got. You know, then we fumble, a, you know, a kickoff when no one touches us. Um, you know, we give up an awful lot of big football plays there. You know, in the past game, they hit us with some some big plays. They ran the ball well on us. Uh, but you know, you know, we had some. You know, we blocked. Uh, you know, we blocked a, a punt to give us a chance to go ahead and, you know, score and, you know, we think have her, have her in pretty good shape with about 50 seconds to go and son of a gun, they come right back and score with nine seconds to go. Um, I, I, if you had to pick one play, you know, Derek Singles play, you know, in overtime where, where he, uh, you know, strips the ball from their ball carry and, and, and gives us a possession back and gives us a chance after we'd missed our field goal, you know, to start the overtime, I think was, you know, was probably as dramatic a play as, as, as there was. They did a nice job running the football. Uh, you know, the back had a lot of yards. Um, you know, we were we were having some issues in the secondary as far as you know coverage, and you know we gave up you know some some big throws, which now forces you to to, to do some things and protect them. And you know, and they did a nice job of of attacking where you know where we uh, adjusted to, and uh, you know the back ran hard, and uh, you know they but they they can score. I mean, you look at their 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 scores. Uh, you know, in the last three or four weeks, you know, especially in the dome, I mean, it, it's it's been high scoring affairs. I thought we got out on on the edge well. You, you know, I thought our 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 our, our sweep play was was really uh, you know paid dividends for us. You know, we had two or three times where we ran the option for for big yards. Um, you know, our stretch roll zone. Uh, you know that that was a seventy yarder that, that Henderson hit. Plus, you know, I think about six or other. Uh, you know, uh, plays that were, you know, eight plus yards rushing. So I did think we did as good a job probably as we did all year running the football. Finley's played everybody. You know, that all, you take a look at all the teams with uh, 500 records or, or better in the league, they've played them all and, and played them tough, you, you know. And uh, I, I think their, you know, the quarterback is one of the, one of the best in the league. Uh, you know, their back is one of the best in the league. Uh, you know, I think their offensive line is, is, is they're young, but I think they're very, very well coached. I mean, you don't, you watch them on film, they don't make mistakes. Uh, you know, there's always hats on hats. Uh, defensively, they're very aggressive. They're going to come after you. They're going to force you to, you know, make quick and quick in your decision process. And, uh, you know, if you don't execute, they're, they're, they're going to make you look bad. They will give you all the personnel groupings. You know, they'll give you, you know, uh, two wide outs, three wide outs, four wide outs, uh, you know, they'll stretch you, uh, you know, they'll run the read option. The quarterback uh, is athletic. He will, he will take the ball out the back end if you don't, you know, if you don't uh, watch and account for him. So they, they, they give you, a, you know, a handful. I mean, you, you've got to be able to, you know, take everything away. You know, this senior class, it's not a huge class. I think there's, there's 13 of them, uh, you know, three, three defensive players, a, a punter, and then uh, I think uh, nine, on, nine on offense. Uh, you know, it's a class that their first year here in 12 was, was part of a championship. Uh, two years later in 14, they got a chance to play, you know, in the national playoffs. Um, you know, I, I think of the 13, I want to say 10 or 11 of them will graduate in December. I think they've all got job opportunities. You know, some of them, you know, are, are, you know, are going to make some some phenomenal, phenomenal money for a young person coming right out of college. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's a class that, uh, you know, will have a couple of academic All-Americans in it, um, you know, as well as numerous guys that have, have had all-conference honors as far as players. I think for us to win Saturday, uh, you know, we, we cannot let them have chunk plays defensively. Uh, you know, offensively, we're, we're going to have to stay on the field and drive the football. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to, I, I believe, will, will attack us. So we've got to make sure that, uh, you know, when they do, that, that, that you know, that we counterpunch, if you would, and, you know, and hit some plays. 
Uh, I, I think uh, mistakes are going to be critical. I think that you know we, we really want to win the turnover battle, and uh, and I th really think we want to win conversion down. I think that's going to be huge also.